But I guess it's a good thing I never got around to hanging anything up here because I'm moving. <gasps> that reminds me. Good morning and happy. I think it's October 5th. Alexa, what's today's date? It's Wednesday, October 5th. There we go. Happy October 5th. It's 8 o'clock in the morning. I have to work at Starbucks today at 9. I know I took you guys for like a work weekend at Trek. Oh my gosh, my hair. Okay, it's not that bad. <laughs> I took you guys for a work weekend with Trek, but I also work at Starbucks. I probably, definitely won't be able to show you much there. Freya will still eat Kitty's food if it's out, so I have to feed her on the counter. Maybe there'll be a better place in the new apartment, but at least here, there's like nowhere that Freya can't get to the counter it is. Nothing has changed. I still like to eat my eggs and toast in the morning. Freya's been doing this new thing where she whines to go out in the morning and I hate it. And I think it's because quite honestly, like sometimes I hear her bells all the way upstairs because it's like three floors at this apartment. So I feel like she goes down and rings the bells and then, you know, I wake up and I go take her out in the middle of the night or like early in the morning kind of thing. But then I think she'll start whining if she tries to go ring the bells and I don't hear her. So like I don't blame her, but I don't want to like reinforce the whining, you know? <sighs> but she did it this morning. You also let me spray this, right? And look at these perfect freaking eggs. I need to eat breakfast real quick before I have to get ready for work. And I'm hopefully gonna be able to take Frey to daycare today. Depends on when I'm done eating and when I'm done getting ready. My bathroom looks so boring, but I guess it's a good thing I never got around to hanging anything up here because I'm moving. <gasps> that reminds me, literally in less than a week, guys. I meant to mention it yesterday, but I don't know. So many other things were happening and I wasn't really thinking about it, but I move next Tuesday. So in six days, I will be in a new unit out of this one, the kind of hectic part about it is that the lease for this unit is up on the 11th so next tuesday that's the first day that my like new lease starts is also the 11th so basically i have to move everything in one day where normally like i've signed leases and had a little bit like a week or two overlap to give time to like move over i might have to stop after work to get boxes and stuff because like we're gonna have to just get started on that and i haven't started packing at all now as much as i love moving because i say this every time Time that I have moved and you guys always call me crazy like I do love moving I wouldn't mind moving every single year because I enjoy it that much but now that I've moved you know once already and then doing it again like three or four months later that that is a little little too much moving for me I'm not upset about it because obviously it is what it is got to do what I got to do kind of thing but <laughs> This is definitely aggravating to have to repack everything and then unpack everything again. At least nothing's on the walls and I don't have to worry about that. At least I'll know <laughs> I'll get the security deposit back. My seats are so cold. Right now it's like 40 something. Oh, so I wore shorts and a long sleeve because later on it's gonna get like 70s and I'm gonna be hot at work, but right now I'm freezing. I did not have time to take Frey to daycare right now, which is fine because I'll just take her on my lunch. But she'll only have to be home for like three or four hours until I get my lunch and then I'll go drop her off at daycare. Oh my gosh, the sun. There's definitely been a lot of changes to like how things are you know, going or how I do things and everything. I did post on my Instagram stories because obviously I've just been getting a lot of DMs and questions on the breakup in general, but how things have changed or like how to take care of Freya and like what the new apartment is and like all the things. So I definitely want to sit down and like answer those and kind of do a Q and A. And I 100% appreciate because there was a lot of people that would ask the question more so just to say like, don't say anything that I don't feel comfortable saying. Like I don't have to answer anything, which I know, but I appreciate y'all looking out for me. But I work today until 5 p.m. So I will talk to y'all after work and we'll see what we do. Probably go get boxes. Like, I don't know. I feel like I need to, I gotta start something or like plan something. And then I think I'm getting margaritas and like Mexican food tonight with some friends, but that's not until like seven. So I'll have like two hours to probably go get packing supplies. So that way I can start packing and stuff tomorrow. That's my thought or my plan. Do you ever make plans that you then kind of regret making? And it's not because I regret making the plans because I know my friends are gonna watch this and be like, what the heck? Like, I wanna go to dinner tonight. I'm just so fucking tired. Like, 
That's literally them. Social me made plans because I was feeling social. And now, tired anti-social me has to go to those plans. I don't know, work wasn't like hard. It was just a lot. It was just a lot. And I planned to go get boxes after work and I was just so tired. I got out like a half hour late. I didn't get to eat lunch because I had to come home and take care of Freya on my lunch. And I've said this before, but like, I'm very much of an energizer bunny kind of thing. So like, I keep going if I keep going, but if I stop, I'm down. So when I got off work, I went and sat on the couch. It took everything in me to get up from the couch. Like dinner is at seven. I'm leaving right now at seven. <sighs> I think I'm ready.